Hi everybody and welcome to episode 14 of Matrix Live. I'm afraid it's um, just me, sort of, this week. Um, we've had a bit of a mess up on timings today and Amandine has had to head, um, so I'm going to try to compensate, but um, for now, just me to explain what's been going on this week. So first of all, funding update. We broke $3,000 a month on Patreon, so thank you enormously to everybody who is supporting us um, there. Um, we also got a special secret donation of Ethereum of 100F, which is about $30,000 um, from a secret donor, which makes a huge difference, um, basically pays for a lot of the legal bills which we're going through at the moment whilst um, setting up new Vector. So thank you so much to the secret donor. And we also have had a lot of um, steady progress this week towards long-term sustainable funding which is letting my blood pressure release slightly and um, hopefully good news for Matrix all round. Um, more updates on that as we have them. Um, uh, supporters rooms have started to appear. Um, if you're an elliptic supporter, you'll hopefully have been invited um, to um, our special super secret elliptic supporters room and um, other tiers of Patreon and LiberaPay um, supporters should also be getting invites into their rooms too. We're not directly converting it into a group quite yet, um, because uh, we don't have third-party invites on um, uh, uh, inviting people into groups, so instead we invite them into rooms and then we'll synchronise the group to whoever pitches up in that room. Um, also, we did accidentally release our internal sync on Monday um, to all of the Patreon supporters, um, so in case you were wondering why you got to see um, the internal sync for the whole team, it's because we hit the wrong button on Patreon, but um, on the plus side it means everybody who's seeing this can hopefully also find out um, what happens behind the scenes when we do our weekly stand-ups and perhaps encourage you to um, pony up the 10 bucks a month, which is the threshold at which you can see that live every week, and indeed for 50 bucks a month you can even participate. Um, so that's probably it for funding for now. Um, on Riot, we've had new mobile releases at the beginning of the week, both on iOS and Android, uh, which seem to have gone down pretty well. Um, the big news there is, of course, that Jitsi is now available on all platforms for uh, video conferencing, apart from desktop, although that is being released as we speak, I think, in um, version 0.12.7, at least I think that the PR has merged, um, of Riot Web, which will probably be going live on Monday now. Um, also, on mobile, we had the black theme contributed by the community on Android. Thank you so much for that. And we have the initial widgets implementations to let you edit and configure and utilize um, little widget apps um, within your matrix room from within the um, clients. It works pretty well on iOS. We need to do some more work on Android, though, to make it really um, polished. And at the moment, it's hidden behind a labs flag, so you have to go to settings to turn on the widgets if you want to play with them. Groups is almost here, so it's actually merged now onto Synapse, onto the develop branch, and it's um, merged onto the develop branch of Riot Web. Um, and at the moment it's hidden behind not only a labs flag, but also a feature flag, so you have to mess around with the config on um, Riot Web to actually use it, because basically we still haven't had a chance to do CSS. I've spent all week doing um, funding stuff, and haven't really had any time to do any CSS, and unfortunately it's ended up blocked on me. Um, but we should be, um, I'm, hopefully we'll have some time to work on it over the weekend, and then groups will start to be more and more and more apparent. And it's very exciting, and we'd like to hugely thank um, Travis, who's spent a lot of time in the community going through the implementation and filing approximately 2 billion bugs, as has found all sorts of interesting QA problems with it, and that's really genuinely useful as we um, test it before we start opening it up to more people. Also, lots of work happening on anti-spam and anti-scam stuff. Um, in this instance, oh God, let me remember what's been going on. Um, it's, it's more actually generic stuff for... Um, lockdown communities, so it's stuff like at um, channel and at room notifications, so you can do the thing like you do on Slack where you can ping everybody in the room but only if you're an admin, which is a feature that people have been asking for for years, that's landing. Um, God, I'm forgetting completely what the other thing is. In fact, this is a brilliant idea to substitute Amandine for everybody else. So people have been complaining that they never see um, what's happening elsewhere in the office. And so this is a, a meeting room where I um, hang out some of the time. But we're going to go off now into the rest of the world to see what's happening outside. So let's um, head over into the wilderness. 
So here we have our very first genuinely live Matrix Live. Say hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> so, Dave, I was just completely blanking, almost in a scripted manner, on um, uh, what you've actually been doing on the anti-scam and the anti-spam stuff. And indeed, if it even is anti-scam or anti-spam, or whether it's actually um, more things like the app channel and app room notifications. Uh, it's, so I've, some, I've been doing some things on anti-scam, uh, which in Synapse is called anti-spam because it's kind of generic. Um, and uh, yeah, that's been improving it. Mostly this week, improving it uh, to give better error messages when your messages get denied uh, because they're sc scammy or spammy. Um, and other than that, yeah, I've been doing uh, preliminary support for patch room mentions in Synapse and then other things like doing a right web release um, and fiddling around with how the features are enabled on on Riot. Yeah, that was the thing I was completely blanking on, the fact that it's the error messages that makes all the difference because it's really, really sucky if you're trying to send a message to somebody and it just says, error, 500, yeah. <laughs> and even prints you an access token rather than saying, I'm sorry, you're using an anti-scam um, device which is deliberately denying access to this message, or whatever. So, yay. Thanks, Dave. Um, Cole, uh, who, who's he again? That's Colin. That's Colin. Okay, sorry. It's very hard to keep track of all the names of all the animals in here. Um, so this is our wall of doom, um, which has things to get in our new office because we're still um, you know, just hanging out in um, the open market offices here where we're squatting at the moment. Uh, so we've, got, we've got prerequisite Trello old school um, post-it things. We've got the armadillo population density quadrant or quadrat. Um, showing vaguely what the armadillos and other humans are working on. We've got scrawlings trying to determine the entirety of um, the architecture of Scalar and Scalar Web and GoNeb and all sorts of things. Important arrows. We've got the realms of TNG map that some people have probably seen before. We've got Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello. You've stolen our beanbags. Uh, I have, yes. Just because I'm mean, indeed oh. had to run away and uh, it's just ridiculous behaviour. And pickle um, being used for what pickle does best. And the terrible thing is we can't see all of the map. It's very sad. Um, Eric, how are you? Hello, I'm not too bad. Um, so I actually haven't started talking about the synapse and the dendrite bits of it, so I think I should just completely sprung on <laughs> oh, yeah. you the opportunity to say how awful your week has been. Uh, it's not been too bad. Um, so on dendrite I've been mainly looking at uh, fixing some bugs that MTR Nord got um, found over the weekend. Thank you, MTR made. Nord. Yeah, no, it's great. It's awesome it's to have people good. actually hacking on, to, um, on dendrite and finding um, the couple of places yeah. where it needs a bit more love. Um, all the changes to the contributing guides, and um, I've added all sorts of labels to the issues, um, so hopefully it should be quite easy to get involved in dendrite if you want to, and I'm more than willing to help out. Um, on the Synapse side of things, uh, I've been adding support so that you can... Um, oh, basic application layer replication of media store so uh, when you get uh, media coming in it will also splat it to a second directory or over NFS or something. This is really to. cool it's basically yeah. high available uh, media repositories um, which I, we, even we don't have yet but we will have very shortly and it'll be kind of cool because we've got two data centers one in London and one in Frankfurt courtesy our lovely sponsors at UpCloud and we basically don't use the Frankfurt one at all at the moment but this will allow us to replicate all of the amazing data imagery and dodgy content which goes into the matrix.org home so for media repository over to the Frankfurt data center and it, you can do it both synchronously and asynchronously yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah. Thank you, Eric. This is going to be fantastic for anybody um, running serious kind of production grade home servers. Um, also, lots of state reset stuff, um, except I guess that's more on Rich's side. Yeah. And Rich has wisely A, um, gone home, and B, <laughs> lives in Cambridge, and so is in a position to be embarrassed on camera now. Unlike Luke. Hello. Tell us about groups, Luke. Groups is going really well. Um, for some very recent feedback from, from Travis and some people who are already trying it out. Um, obviously, it's not the best thing in ter terms of UX, so we're just working through the kinks and making it easy, very easy for you to set up a group and get Flare working straight away at Spark and stuff like that. Awesome. I've already mm, spoiled half of the fun stuff about groups actually um, earlier on on the, okay. on the thing, but um, um, could I, is there anything amazing and cool we can see? Not really. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. There it must is be. There. No oh, pressure at all. Look, it's Luke's is. original group. People may group. not have seen Luke's original group this here. Is my original group. I can't even see whether I'm doing this dodgy screencast correctly. Yeah, there we go. That's amazing. So um, that's why am I not surprised we've got a dog? 
Yeah, it's, it's a kind of recurring theme for Matrix. Supposed to, it's supposed to be a GIF, but it didn't animate at the moment. Oh, we need to have to hover over stuff. Cool. We do. We need the autoplay. Awesome. awesome. And uh, oh, and it's only got Eric and Luke in it. Uh, yep. That's a, <laughs> a, a very selective group. Like most groups on Matrix at the moment. Uh, the other one is is the Matrix group. which Matrix cool team has got uh, two Eric's and one Luke. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're getting there. It's all, it's all happening gradually. Uh, what else can we show? Um, poor, unfortunate people who have the misfortune to uh, look at Matrix Live this week. We can look at our Jenkins dashboard with approximately eight point text telling us which builds are broken and which aren't. Obviously, it's all green, no red there at all. Uh, we've got the view down into beautiful West London. Um, the open market offices used to be IBM HQ a long time ago in the 60s, and so we've accidentally inherited them and we get this nice view out over West London. And ironically, there should be an amazing sunset there, except there's lots of clouds. So once all you can see is London Heathrow and a motorway. But um, in the nearest future, um, we'll get kicked out and then hopefully have enough funding to get that office somewhere else. Even have salaries. It's going to be an amazing Ooh. future. Do we like having salaries? Yeah. Yay. Yay for being able to eat food again. Eat, eating food and paying mortgage and all this sort of thing. It's going to be great. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's it, I think, from us this week. Anything else? Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.